Okay, fam, so this workout is going to be a total upper body workout. It's the freaking weekend, and if you've been following my content, I haven't worked out a lot lately. I've been doing a lot of meditation, been doing a lot of stretching, a lot of yoga, a lot of active recovery, but today I wanna pump, and I did chest and back a couple days ago. I did legs, I did more of a glute workout, and then I had to take two days off again due to work and some other obligations. So now I'm coming back into it. I just don't wanna come back in with an arm workout because then I'm gonna to have to take a day off before I do upper body, like chest and back, and I don't wanna just do chest and tries. And I don't wanna do legs today, so instead of just doing chest and back again, I'm gonna do total upper body. So I'm just gonna set the camera up, gonna fucking hammer it out, and it's gonna be a limited time workout. I only have about an hour and a half to do it, so I'm gonna go in, just get to work. Total upper body workout, let's do it. I'm getting excited, I'm just, I can smell the pump.
Now this is that four, there you go. Slow to the front, like four seconds. And all the way back, keep your chest down. Good, pull the shoulders back and down, so you're pinching down here. Yeah, relax, relax this, relax that, there you go. That's awesome, man, keep going. 50 more, you're almost there. Only two hours left. Open those hands up, open, there you go. Get all the extensors. Shoulder magic. Good stuff, man. I was joking about the fifty. <laughs> So this pairing is the incline press 
with prone press and chest, I don't want to say chest assisted back flies, but the back flies are prone. So when you're prone you're face down on a bench, you are taking out the swing. So you're isolating the back completely. So you're pulling the shoulder blades down and I'm using kind of a low incline. Uh, you can go a little bit higher. So if you feel like you're getting your upper traps involved too much on the prone press part or the back fly, just make it a little bit higher. So I'm going incline barbell with a pulse, so half rep and then a pull. And then I'm doing back flies, drop set to prone press. So not getting a lot of volume in terms of repetitions, but <laughs> it's intense. Okay, fam wise, this exercise is the Pompasolio Press. This is my favorite tricep exercise. You can do this on a TRX, you can do this on with a rope, you can do this with a towel on a bar. Now, a lot of you have seen me do this before. One of the most important things to think about when you're doing this exercise is to almost keep the lower back rounded. 
you're gonna wanna arch and you're gonna wanna give into it because of flexibility in the hips and the lower spine. So suck your stomach in around your lower back, it'll bring it more into a neutral position and then focus on that shoulder overhead movement. If you have problems with your shoulder, you have to make sure you work on thoracic mobility first because it can put pressure on the shoulder if you have an imbalance. So be careful if you have any kind of pain or impingement issues already. But try to like round the lower back almost like a turtle. Keeping that in mind when you do this will keep your body in better alignment and you'll feel a lot more in your core and your abs and less stress in your lower back. Check us out. Okay, so what really makes that rounding of the lower back important is because when you go overhead, it tightens the lats, it stretches the lats out. And the lats attach to the fascial tissue at the base of the lower spine. Now, when the lats are tight, as they often are because everything's connected, when you raise your arms up overhead, it'll pull on the lats and can cause the lower back to arch to kind of try to give slack to the shoulder and to the lats. So when you go overhead, in general, the lower back is gonna to wanna to arch. And if you have tight hips, and you have any kind of existing issues and compensations, which most people do, you're gonna feel pressure in the lower back. You might feel some pain. So when you try to round at the beginning, when you go up overhead with the arms and your lower back is starting in a, a little bit of a round position to begin with, it will kind of break even rather than go into an arch and a lumbar extension. So you're kind of compensating at the beginning in order to neutralize during the movement. So it makes the dynamic posture and the dynamics of that exercise much more safe and effective. So I hope you enjoyed this exercise. I'll see you next time. Hell of a workout fam as always. Just a little bit, just a little something, nothing crazy. I didn't crush it, I didn't murder myself, but I did uh, two exercises each of chest and back. I did one for shoulders, but I did some prone press too, so that hits the posterior deltoid. And I did some single arm curls. I didn't film the concentration. Curls. I did a couple sets of tricep extensions too. So just, you know, a little bit light on the arms because I skipped arms, so it's been like two weeks since I did a hard arm workout, so I'm not going crazy on the volume there, but uh, had a great upper body workout in total. And all in all, it was a good, a good round robin, focusing still on meditation and, and yoga and recovery and then going from there, all right? Peace out, fam. Hope you enjoy the workout. Later.